Hello guys, welcome back to Shoe Automation Lab. So many of the people, you know, mailing me to just ask the frequently asked Java program for automation tester or the asset profile. So basically, uh, I have uh, noted down some uh, common questions, uh, the programming Java questions, which uh, the, which will be asked in the interview or in the real time interview. So basically, I have collected around 20 questions. So we will be discussing one by one uh, in this video and uh, these are the frequent question but yes uh, do prepare for other problems as well because uh, you might get some other question as well so which is not listed in my video right so uh, let's get started with your first question so basically this is a very common question to just to check your you know logical uh, logical uh, way of writing the code like uh, this is the first program like you have to print the value of 1 to 10 uh, without using the loop so if you have a loop you can do this easily but you don't have a loop and you just have to print the number uh, like 1 to 10 number and without using uh, any loop for loop while loop or anything okay so one thing also just note down uh, this these programs are basically for a fresher as well as the experienced person so it is not something which is related to some experience people can uh, get this type type of question or the uh, fresher only right so also uh, i'm just uh, letting you know guys the number of questions the frequently asked java program for the automation tester uh, so you you can find out the answers of this question on uh, google as well as you can watch the uh, youtube videos as well uh, so you will easily find the explanation of uh, each of the question basically the solution you will definitely find out okay so let's move to the next question uh, this is one of the question asked in the paytm uh, like just write down a program for demonstration of anagram program so anagram is basically this term is something uh, you have to play with the uh, words okay so suppose you, you have given the input as a dusty so you just have to make uh, take the dusty as an input value and you have to make some another word from this so from the dusty you can make it like study so you can see that each of the character will be the same only the rearrangement of the character is uh, comes into this picture okay uh, like same thing the another example is night so uh, you your input is night and you just have to make another word by rearranging the words or uh, characters so you will uh, end up making the thing okay okay so this is all about the anagram program the third question is like uh, you just have to count the duplicates word in a string. Suppose there is one string is present and in the string, uh, you just have to count the duplicates words are there, right? So a string is basically, we can say that the sentence, India is my country. So you just have to find out the number of uh, duplicates words is there or not in the current string, right? In the same way, you just have to count the duplicate character in a string so the uh, all we can say that uh count the duplicate character in a word okay so suppose uh, there is one word is present and you just have to uh, find the duplicate character character means w is or o so what are the duplicates are there or not right okay so next question is fifth one which is similar to what we have seen but little bit of difference so make sure while understanding or while you know listening to the question uh, you will uh, listen properly otherwise you will make uh, some mistake so fifth question is count the occurrence of a character in a word so there is a one word is there and you just have to count like suppose there is a character is a word and you just have to count the how many number of characters repeating so c is repeating how many times two times a is repeating two times so in this way you have to count the occurrence of a character whatever the words is there you just have to count the occurrence in the same way the sixth program is like you just have to count the occurrence of a word so suppose there is a sentence is there and in the sentence you just have to uh, 
count the number of times the same word is coming into that string okay then we have a seventh one a uh, seventh one is like you just have to count the maximum occurrence of a word suppose there is uh, multiple words is repeating so suppose there is a uh, two is present one uh, the present and uh, another word we can say that india is present three times so india is repeating three times this word right so you just have to print the maximum of occurrence of that word like india will be the output then you have uh, the eighth one which is a very common question uh, you will probably uh, getting this type of question like swapping of a string uh, with or without third variable so there is a two way of swapping the string uh, you can just use the two uh, variables as well as you can use the third variable as well to swap the string in the same way you are working with the swapping of a string you can swap the number as well and this program is also based on two things like without third variable and with a uh, third variable okay so in this way you just have to work on this program so while working or practicing with this program uh, you should uh, practice uh, in a way that uh, you should not uh, get this kind of uh, you know if they ask you the explanation you will be able to answer the uh, each line how the things are working right so 10 program is fine equilibrium index of array so this is a uh, basically uh, they are mostly dealing with the array programs where you just have to uh, get the equilibrium index of that particular array you will find out this program in google easily and the explanation also okay so this is the 10 program and now you have a 11 program uh, which is uh, excel reading and writing program so this is very important in terms of selenium question as well like over there if you are working with a data driven approach so you are reading the data from the excel so reading and writing from the excel is very important right this conference will now be recorded So in the 12th program, uh, which is basically a Fibonacci series, so you you might be heard of this uh, Fibonacci series program. So the output will be like one, one, two, three, and then five, like this. The Fibonacci series program is there, which is very simple. You just have to go through once, and then you will be able to understand. Then we have a 30th program, 13th, like uh, Armstrong number is there. So suppose you have given the one input value as 153 and you just have to identify this is a Armstrong number or not. So the concept is like 153. So you will be write like uh, this. So in this bracket, if I have to write one raised to three, the cube, we can say that, and then plus five raised to cube and then we have three raised to q so the answer final answer will be like one pi three only okay so this is something uh, i'm strong number then which uh the 14 program is very important uh because it is very basic but it it should be asked uh, a number of times like a uh, program for reversing a number so you will get a program to reverse a number whatever the input is given to you you just have to reverse yes in the same manner you have to reverse the string as well okay then the 15 program is there prime number you just have to find out so uh, this is the basic program uh, so you just have to you know go through once you will get to know that yeah some some interviewer uh, like uh, for the sj profile they will uh, try to test you a little more so they will ask you the star or number pattern program okay so be prepared for that as well you just have to understand the logic how the things are printing on the console or the screen so if you are able to write one or two program then you will be able to make another program so don't buy hard any programs uh, you just have to understand the logic because uh, this this program basically asked to test the logical thinking of yours okay because uh, while dealing in the uh, writing the automation script you definitely uh, uh, 
not you will not get this kind of question like reversing of number or something else but definitely the use case which will be uh, definitely uh, helpful when you understand the program instead of by hacking the program okay so understand each and every point each and every line if you have any doubt then you can ask anybody or maybe uh, comment down or mail me i will definitely help you to answer the questions okay then we have a 17 program which is a program for palindrome number so this is also a kind of input value you will get and then based on that you, you just have to write the logic to check whether the given uh, number is the palindrome number or not so this is all about 17 program then you have 18 program like uh, factorial of a numbers so uh, you all may be knowing that the basic math right so uh, over there like factorial of a number is something suppose i have asked you the factorial of five so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do five into four into three into two into one so you will be go uh, like decreasing order from the number where, where it starts right so this is all about the factorial of a number so they will definitely sometime ask you th these questions are very basic you just have to understand it once go through once then you will be able to you know answer or write the program so basically they will ask you to allow you to you know write this kind of program on a notepad so over there you just have to type everything on your own uh if if some somebody allows some company allows you they will definitely ask you on some of the editor uh, which is of your choice or maybe they will provide you the online editor as well okay the 19th program is all about uh, find out the vowel suppose you have given the word uh, so inside that word uh, they will ask you to get the vowels are there or not so you just have to pick that vowel thing and print it on the console okay and the 20th program is basically uh, based on your concepts like how the inheritance work how you can extend from a parent class to a base uh, child class and then you have a how how you define or declare the abstract class how you use the interface how uh, uh, like i have already given you the four to five programs right uh, as an uh, the guess output series so over there you just have to deal deal with the string problems like how uh, what will be the output and uh, you just have to guess the output or tell the uh, correct explanation for that particular uh, set of code they will ask you so that is all about string and in the same way they're gonna ask you the exception handling question as well so sometimes they will ask you to write down some uh, custom exception handles or sometimes they will ask you the program regarding the exception handling you just have to you know uh, guess the output for that and also uh, try to work on the some array and collection based uh, questions like array in the sense like how you declare the array how you fetch how how you iterate over the arrays and then you you have some collection classes as well array list and then uh, you have um, has said classes are there right so how you you know create the object of it and then how you choose it how you add the object inside the array list or has set so these are the basic program they just want to sometimes they will ask you the theory question you will be able to answer but you are not able to uh, give the uh, practical uh, explanation or uh, write the code for that right so, so that time they will ask you definitely to write the code for that okay so these are these are the basic uh, or the frequently asked java program for the automation tester uh, so whatever the things i i thought of to add this i have added uh, apart from this we will get some more question based on the uh, interviewer or maybe the company or maybe the profile you are going for but definitely this number of questions if you are performing uh, on your own laptop or computer then definitely it will be somewhere help you to understand the programming the java things more clearly and you will feel confidence knowing this program because this will definitely give you a lot of boosters okay so i hope this video helps you a lot so 
just do uh, like this video uh, share the share with your friends and subscribe to the channel uh, because this will give me some some kind of motivation to bring bring you some more interesting topic or some some kind of thing which will be helpful for you guys uh, to get your job okay by understanding or by practicing or by uh, preparing on this kind of question so till then prepare well keep learning uh, bye have a good day